Scott here from tricodio.com and welcome to another wonderful tutorial of Express and MongoDB. So in this tutorial we are going to be studying a lot, a lot more and deeper things. So stay tuned and be connected. Today we are going to dive deeper into Express and MongoDB. This tutorial is helpful for beginners and also developers who want to refresh their memories preparing for an interview. I think it's helpful for everybody. If this is your first time watching our channel or our videos I would highly appreciate if you like if you comment and to share and you share our content and click on the notification bell so that whenever we post a new content you will get notified on the way and also you can always check out our website tricoder.com where you're going to learn more programming concepts and learn more as regards a particular language. Now let's continue. In this tutorial, we are going to cover some good number of things. We're going to talk about Express. We're going to talk about routing on HTTP methods. We're going to talk about middleware, template engine, and how to connect our application to our MongoDB database. So it's a cool time we're going to be spending together. So get ready. So let's um, begin by asking ourselves what is express what is express if you actually knew in node.js development you must have come across the famous word express or express.js express.js is a it's a it's a very famously known node.js web application framework used in building web applications now, as you must have heard about the word full stack development, or let's say full stack um, developers, and we could have mean developers, mean stack developers, or merge stack developers. So the E on that word simply stands for Express. So you realize Express is a standard that developers have categorized in working with MongoDB, Express, React, and Node. And same goes with Word, with Angular, JS, and Node, and, and Node.js. And so same equally goes with um, me. So Express is a very important framework which helps us in building web applications. Express actually makes work a lot easier when building web applications. It is very easy to use. It, uh, it can build many types of different complex web applications. And equally it is flexible and has a lot of additional features it has good facilities in error handling and can easily be integrated with SQL and no SQL databases so Express 
is really important in the world of Node.js. Now let's write on to some code. So for this project, you are going to set up your project directory or let's say your project folder where you're going to be writing, storing your files and writing and putting in some more stuff as it regards to this project. And so let's begin with um, installing Express. As you already know what Express is all about, let's look at how we can start using Express. And so before you begin using Express, you actually need to install the web framework Express. And so this is done using NPM. And so you navigate to your project directory or your project folder you open a command prompt or a command window from your project folder and you type in the command npm install express and after this you press enter actually what is going to happen is npm will actually install the package in your local machine so you can use it in developing your web application please take note that before doing this or oh, uh, um, take note of the fact that npm requires internet connection since it's going to download this package so for my case i can't um, do it anymore since i already have express installed in my local machine So now that Express has been installed, let's run and set up a simple web app, a simple Hello World Express app. But before that, um, take note that the official website of Express, where you can learn more or read the official documentation about the installation of express in your in building your web applications the official website is expressjs.com expressjs.com for those who actually want to check it out oops expressjs.com sorry Okay, just want to type out the official website. So the official website for Express is expressjs.com. So you can actually check it out and learn more about installations and other kind of stuff very important so this leads us to the next subtopic or to the next subject of discussion which is about routing or some call it routing and HTTP methods So actually before oops, sorry about that. So actually before we type our before we write out our express hello world or our express simple program, let me explain the concept of routing or routing and HTTP methods. So actually a route is simply a path or a destination where a particular resource is gotten. For example, if you've served websites before, whenever you click 
on about you realize the about page of that website loads and if you notice at the address bar you would see the domain name of the website and you see a slash and then about when you click on the home page of the website you would realize a change in the structure of the domain so just like in that case in express a route is simply a destination or a path where a particular resource can be found for example since we are running on a local machine we can have local host slash about where we are going to have information about our web application we can have local host slash post where we are going to maybe post something so this is how routes actually work and they work along with HTTP methods because on getting the resource on the route you you equally perform one of the HTTP methods it could be a get meaning you're getting a resource from the server it could be a post meaning you're actually adding a resource or like saving the resource in the server something like that you can it could be delete maybe you're deleting an information on the server so you realize routing is actually very important in our back end or in our web app development because every resource cannot actually be stored every resource cannot actually be kept on the same page that is why we require different pages and this can be acquired by routing and so now we are going to create a, a home route a home route the home route is simply the home page where whenever a user navigates to your web application he or she sees that page by default so creating route in express is 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 kind of quite quite very easy and, and simple so let's route right on First, we must actually require our module and this or the express framework and so this can be acquired using var express is equal to is equal to require express Oops, no capital letters express And then after importing or kind of calling the express module now we are going to create an instance of our express module and so we are going to store that in app so we are going to have our app is equal to express Now let's quickly set up where our server is. So I am actually typing my code in a file I named server.js. You could equally type yours in perhaps it depends on you, you could use index.js or app.js. So all you need to do is simply write down your folder your project folder after setting up npm and setting up your startup file to so open server.js and write up the code so let me set up a port where my server is going to listen
so if everything goes successfully we are going to have a console log running on port 3000 so now I think let's add our route and so creating a route in Express you should we simply need to use the instance of the app of the Express app we declared above and then we bind it to an HTTP method so in our case we're going to do app.get getting a particular resource or response from the server and we put a slash which represents the hopper app and a function and so here we get our response So we have created our home route. So guys, you can see how easy it is to actually set up a, a route um, um, with Express. So a quick recap. We bind the instance of Express to an HTTP method. So in this case, it was app and then we did app.get and then we we give the name of the route the slash simply means it's the home route if we had to um, give it another page it could be let's say slash about or slash contact us or something else or something of that sort but in this case it is actually the home route therefore we have just slash that said let's test our application if it actually runs and so uh, doing this i'm actually going to use a module node monitor which is um called node mon and so node mon enables us to actually start up our our script our server without actually doing it manually all the time without us actually doing that manually all the time so if you're actually kind of interested in using that you can just write on to your project directory where your modules have been installed to your project directory and just um, not more npm install not more or some people still love typing npm install in full still fine it still works so in my case since i already have the package no need for second installation so running my file running my file i'm just going to type not more server and we wait for a while as our server is being started and successfully there you go you find um, an output on the console running on port 3000 so now let's check it out in our browser Host 3000. 
okay guys very great so when we navigate to localhost 3000 which is our home route since there's no slash something after since it's the main home route we find welcome to express js so guys everything worked successfully and so this takes us to the next the the next subject in our tutorial which is actually the middle way but actually before that i think it's important we talk about template engines first before getting to middle west template engines i don't know if it's your first time hearing about this um particular um, sentence or phrase template engines but i want to make you understand it is very very important in what we are doing in what we are working with the 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 term template engine um, simply signifies a package you know it's a package that renders data in html pages I, and uh, and one fun fact about it is it actually provides a quick way to start up building a web application without using another framework because of course you know there are other front-end frameworks like we have react we have Vue.js, we have angular but ejs actually gives us that possibility to start up a web application faster without using another framework and particularly um sorry i'm already talking about ejs it's actually a template engine and particularly template engines gives us the ability to inject variables from the server into our html file and so in in the world of node.js development we have quite a lot of them we have ejs we have handlebars we have g we have bug and so on but in this tutorial we are going to work with ejs EGS template engine it's quite fascinating and equally easy to use and so after adding EGS in our code you would no longer see a dummy page as such you're actually going to see it well good looking start web page and actually EJS files come with exist with the extension .ejs but in these EJS files we write in some HTML code in them and EJS has uh, a syntax where we can use and get variables from the server in our HTML file and render them in our HTML file so it's kind of very interesting to work with and so to begin we begin by installing EJS since it's a third party module and so to install EJS you simply need to write down to your project directory my case let me move to my project directory open your command prompt and then you install simply by using the command npm install ejs or some people still prefer npm i ejs it all depends on you and so take note you're going to require a working internet connection and as 
as, N as npm will actually download and install the package in your local machine and that's it let us add ejs in our code and in case you don't know the official website for ejs is simply ejs point co o dot co so it's ejs dot co as simple as that so you can check it out later to know more about it and to get some few some kind of important information about ejs so to add ejs in our code we need to require ejs or import ejs like we did with express and this is done by simply saying var ejs is equal to require ejs and then we must make our express application understand that we are using a template engine and so this can be acquired using app.set since we have many different types of template engines so we are going to tell express or we are going to make express know that we are setting our application to use EJS template engine all right guys guys it's a beautiful morning here and so you can hear cockroaches and kind of stuff like that so we are going to app.set we are going to set our view engine so it can equally be called view engine view engine and we set that as EGS so as simple as that now when our it when we have configured our express um, server to actually accept EGS as our template engine right away we need to create EGS files that contains HTML code which will be rendered when we open our web page or our application or our web app and so by so doing express by default checks our view files or our EGS files in a folder called views views so as you noticed in my project directory i have a folder known as views and so write onto your project directory and create a folder a folder called views and there in views we are going to start writing our ejs code so right in my views folder i'm going to create a, a file with name home.ejs And so remember I said EJS files actually accept HTML. Oops. Okay. So we are going to quickly configure our HTML document. And so here I'm going to set up. EJS as my as the title of my HTML web page and then here I'm simply going to say hey I am EJS and actually in case you're not aware EJS simply stands for embedded JavaScript so now we have our home.ejs file 
been said. Now you're going to ask yourself the question how can we actually enable this to display on our web page or when we open up our application rather than this. So when our EJS file has been set because actually obviously we are going to add some CSS and styling, basic styling though since this is not a front end tutorial. But then you're going to ask yourself how do we then render or how do we make this file or the code to display on our home route. So this is where we're going to have a change. So at this case, at this level, we are no longer going to use the the command or the method response response.send or rest.send we are rather going to say rest.render so rest.render then takes the parameter the name of the EJS file which is index in our case no sorry which is home this is home.ejs in your case you could use index it all depends on you which is cool and then it equally accepts variables variables which could be created on the server and later on rendered or injected in the EJS file so for now let's simply render our home EJS file and then let's check it out first so we come back to our node monitor so everything runs successfully it whenever we save changes or whenever we save um, our file by hitting ctrl s we and the changes saved the server automatically restart so it says run on port 3000 so let's check it out and see if it works before that I think I'd, let me make a difference by modifying this H1 and this then let me add a horizontal row Check it out refresh okay guys so you can see it worked we have our title EJS and we have our horizontal line here and then our H1 I am EJS so this is where we are going to add some style and some cool interface in our application in our web application so in this tutorial I would actually want us to build a, a simple express web application with two routes the home route and the post route so on the post route we are actually going to be saving some data in the database so practically we are going to have two we are going to have um, two EJS files since we said we are, we, are, we are going to be dealing with the home route and the post route and therefore we are going to create another file which is post.ejs and in post.ejs that's where we are going to have our form our html form and so let's just save this for now and get back at the home.ejs and so here i simply want us to set up something simple and so not to take a lot of time i 
I actually prepared, I would actually get a template from W3 schools how to. I'm actually going to get a, a, a short code from there, which will actually enable us to write on with, the, with this tutorial quickly. So quickly, I'm going to um, delete all this so that we are going to so that we can have our our CSS files. So our style. going to copy and paste as, as CSS ties here and then we're going to have let me take away this so at this point um, let me open my browser so here I'm going to simply add a hero image with a button so uh, this is a CSS how to create a hero image guys this is really handy to to quickly start up with start up with your web application so let me quickly add the CSS So I just need to copy the CSS. And at the moment I style back. And then get to the body. Okay, I think that's it. We could have something nice. Uh, let's try to do some modifications. Express So we need to look out for an image to actually display. So I think I have an image in, in a folder. Oops. I think let me check out the extension. In a folder known as upload. It's a PNG file. I think I'll just copy that. I think I'll just copy that and then and then paste that here. Okay. So in this case, we said it's a PNG file. So I think we should try that out. Everything unsuccessfully, no error from the console. So 
So let's get back and refresh. No, we have a little error here. Okay, um, since we have some issues with the background, with the background image, so I'm just going to make some few changes here. Um, I think to keep things uh, simple, we just keep the background image, we just um, take away the background image and just set the font to blue and we move the class the div and I think that will do so we can take away this and just leave here a text So we check our server one more time and then we navigate we open a new window and check our localhost 3000 okay at localhost 3000 we have welcome to express and i'm from tripod so you realize um, how EJS works at this point. So I want us to set up this button so that it will take us to the post. So the post page. So to do that, I'm simply going. We just need to add an href. And which is going to be slash post and then okay. So I think the home dot EJS has been set, and as you can see. We have localhost 3000, we have home.ejs, and we have it linking to the post route. It says cannot get post because we've made it set the post route. But one thing I want us to do is to see how we can inject a variable into home.ejs file code. So, therefore, we have response.render home. And I said this here we can equally add oops, here we can equally add variables at the level of the server which can get injected in the in our EJS code or in our EJS file and this can be achieved using EJS syntax at the level of the EJS file but at the level of the render, we simply need to assign a value to the variable. So, for example, we have title, and so at title, we are going to assign EJS, or let's call it express since we already have EJS as title. Let's call it express and save. So at home.ejs, we are going to use the EJS syntax to actually use the variable which we set in server.js 
until this can be achieved using the EJS syntax. Quite simple. And then we pass title. So when EJS sees this, so when Express actually sees this, Express checks for the value of title in server.js. So let's check if it worked successfully. Okay, running on 3000. And I can refresh our page. And we have Express. So as mentioned earlier, the post route or the post page should actually be a form where we can save some data in our database. Therefore, that's what I want us to set up in post.ejs. So we are going to take this away. Um, so here we are going to let the document for now. So to quickly um, draft it template or something we can perform um, I decided to copy this from W3 schools but you can use any form you desire so quickly let me get the CSS So this is it. So I would equally want to get the title of my document from my sub. So I apply the same principle. and then at the level of my server.js file I need to create the route for post so it's practically the same thing app.get which is going to display the interface for the user to post but but for the but but the, the the mechanism for for this or the actions required for the user to post in the database for that to be possible we need to set up a post route so for this this is a get route slash post and then a callback function request response so request of render then we pass in the name of our EJS file so in this case we have post post and then any variables so I have title so here my, I'm, going, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pass the title or let's say database okay So that's it. I think everything should work fine. Let's check our note. Okay, the server is started successfully. 
good so I navigate back to the guy of 3000 and refresh and I navigate to post so there successfully you can see we have name last name country and subject so let's equally check out the title you can see our title database so I think that's fine so at this point we have set up the home route and the post route okay guys so this takes us to the next um, matter or the next um, subject in our tutorial which is middleware which is middleware so I think you must have come across the word middleware probably after watching some YouTube tutorials and have you actually wondered what it's all about or have you tried getting some theoretical concepts or some theoretical explanation of what this is actually all about actually a middleware is a function it's a function that gets executed during the request response life cycle of an application so it's actually a function there are functions in express somebody defined express web framework as a web frame framework filled with middlewares therefore the a middleware has access to the request and the response objects of the route where it is attached to it and so according to express official documentation website a middleware can actually execute blocks of code it can modify the request and the response object it can equally end them and then it can equally call or hand over to the next middleware and so according to expressgs.com we have about five types of middlewares we have application level middleware we have router level middleware we have error handling middleware we have built-in middleware and we have third party middleware so uh, i guess you must have come across this but you did not actually have a good understanding of them so i think and i recommend that you check out our website tricoder.com we have an article which explains the middlewares and equally check out express.com official website you're equally going to get an in-depth explanation of the five levels of middlewares as um, for example at the level of built in middlewares we have express.static i know many developers use that without actually knowing that it's a middleware and it's built in in express we have express router it's a router level middleware we have error handling middleware equally and the third party middlewares are the ones where which we actually install as a module before actually we can use them so these middlewares are actually very important when developing your um, web application because they are actually going to help you perform some tasks to make work easier so in this tutorial we are going to cover just one third party middleware and which is a self favor icon middleware which is a self favor icon middleware or some qualified icon 
actually the favicon is simply the image you find beside the tab beside the title of a website for example here we have the favicon of tricoder.com here we have that of w3 schools so we are going to get into our application our express application and try setting up our own favicon as you can see we have the default um logo here so, so we do not yet have one so we are going to actually make use of a third party middle i call serve fav icon to set one for our express application so guys i was actually hoping that this tutorial would cover less than an hour but then would 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 cover an hour but we are actually going to make a part two to produce a part two of this tutorial where we are going to cover the other concepts we are, we are going to cover we are we are going to actually code out our our third party middleware that we are going to set our serve favor icon and then our, our favorite icon for our website for our express app and then we are going to see how we can connect to the database and then connect to the post that's in such a way we can post information or save information into our database after filling the form on the post route so a quick recap of what we've done today we actually set this up and then we set up the post route so in our next tutorial we are going to see how the part two of this tutorial sure we are going to see how we are going to, how we can fill in the information here so that when we click on post then everything gets posted in or saved in our database So the database we are actually going to be using in this tutorial is MongoDB. MongoDB is actually a NoSQL database, which is actually very good and, and flexible and easy to use, especially when building complex web applications. So guys stay tuned to the next part of this tutorial and you can always like you can subscribe and share and click on the notification bell so that whenever a new content is uploaded you are going to get notified feel free if you have any questions or f or any worry drop at the comment section and we are going to get to you and solve your problems and also you can always check out our website tricoder.com for more content on node.js and other languages like Python, Magento, and other interesting stuff to learn, guys. So I trust you. Stay tuned to, to the second part of this tutorial and have a wonderful day ahead.